Hello friends. Welcome back again. Today we learn, how to create this. First of all we will create a new composition. We call it texture. I'm using 2000 by 2000 resolution at 30 frame per second. Now we will create a black solid layer. Then add fractal noise effect on it. In fractal noise, change type to max. Noise type to block. Contrast to 160. Brightness to negative 110. Open transform option, then change scale to 115. X offset to negative 1000, Y to 540. Complexity to 5. We open sub setting, then change influence to 85. Now make sure you are at first frame. Then add sub offset, evolution, and offset turbulence keyframe. Press U to reveal all keyframes. Then come at last frame. And change offset value to 200. Y sub offset to 1000. And last evolution to 3. We will add tint effect on it. Then change white map color. Now let's preview it. Cool. We will duplicate the solid layer. Then we change contrast to 175. Brightness to negative 140. Open transform option. Then uncheck uniform scaling. Change width to 550. Height to 20. Now in tint effect we will change its white map color. We will select layers. Then click on toggle switches or press F4. And change its blend mode to add. After that, we will create a new adjustment layer. Then add Gaussian blur effect on it. Change dimensions to vertical. Blur to 800. We turn on repeat edge pixels. Then change its blend mode to screen. Now add levels effect on it. Then change input black amount to 40. Now we will preview it. Friends, in the same way, we will create several solid layers. And use fractal noise, glow and tint effect on them. We will speed up this process. But you can slow it down, by clicking on the setting icon. Before we move on to the next step, we wanna tell you something. We have created a new channel, where you can get non-copyright content. Please visit and support us.
our texture is complete, before we move to the next step, we will go to the file, profile setting, then color, change depth to 16 bits. Now let's preview it. We are going to create a new composition. We call it main. This time I'm using full HD resolution. Now insert the logo, by drag and drop. And adjust its size. Then create a pre-compose. Make sure move all attributes is selected. Now go to layer, then auto trace. You can change the tolerance value according to your logo, but in my case, we are using one pixel. And make sure apply to new layer is uncheck. After auto trace, if logo has weird lines, then use the pen tool and adjust it, as I'm doing. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel. And follow me on Twitter. All the links are below. Now we will create a solid layer. Then insert texture composition. We hide both compositions. Select the solid layer, and add element 3D effect on it. In element, we go to custom layer, text masks, and add logo layer. In texture maps, add the texture. I think we forgot to insert the environment. You can download all the assets from the link in below. Now in the custom texture, add this. After adding all the assets, click on scene setup. Now we click on extrude to add the logo. Go to scene menu, and select the bevel. We change its extrude amount to 0.10. Expand edges to 0.50. After that, go to presets menu, then drag and drop the chrome material on it. Now we will duplicate the model by control D. Then move it back. We drag and drop the black gloss material on it. Now select the black gloss, and change its extrude value to 0 0.07. Then we will move it forward. Again we will duplicate the chrome model, and bring it to up. Then move it backward. After that, we adjust its extrude and expand edges. Again we duplicate the model, then drag and drop the green light material on it. And adjust its extrude and expand edges. Now click on diffuse texture. And add custom texture. Then change the UV repeat to 8 and 4. We change some settings in basic, reflection, refraction, illumination but I will do it fast and forward. All layer settings are done. Now we duplicate the first three layers, and adjust it on back side. Logo is done, now we will add a plane for background. In edit menu, check two side plane. Then rotate it to 90 degree. Increase X size to 850. Y Z to 500. We drag and drop the black gloss material on it. Now go to environment. And add custom environment. Then we change UV repeat to 3. Brightness to negative 11. In last, change the light to dramatic. Now go to edit menu. Right click on plane, reflect mode, and select mirror surface. All settings are done. We will click on OK to save the project. We create a camera layer. Then press C and switch to camera tools. We need the zoom and move tool. Now adjust the camera angle. After adjusting the angle, create a null layer. Then link the camera layer to null. Now you can press F4, and turn on 3D. We press P for position, and add a keyframe. Then move forward approximately 2 seconds, and change X position value. 
Let's preview it. Cool. We change the first keyframe to easy ease. Then close the work area. In element plugin, open render setting, and change the light to dramatic. We enable the shadow. Change its mode, to ray trace. Samples amount to 2. Now enable ambient occlusion. Then change SSO intensity to 3. Friends, I think we need to change the materials, so we'll go back to scene setup. Here we replace the chrome with black glass. And black glass with gold. Now let's change some settings in basic, reflectance, refraction, illumination. But I'll do it fast. Our new gold is ready, let's come at backside. Here we will replace the chrome with our new gold. All settings are done. Let's go back. We are going to add the glow effect. And set its radius to 300. Now insert the lens video, you can download it from below. And change the blend mode to add. Then we add levels effect. And play with the values. In element plugin, we will open multipass mixer, and come to our first keyframe. Then add all multipass keyframes. We press U and come at first frame. Then change all values to zero. We also change all the first keyframes to easy ease. Now we will create a new adjustment layer. And add hue saturation effect on it. Then we change its saturation to 5. If you think the blue element is so bright, then in element plugin, go to additional lighting, and change the Z rotation value. Now let's preview it. Friends, editing takes time, I used everything shown in this tutorial, and spend a lot of time to create this. If you want to create a good animation give it time. If you found this tutorial useful, please like and subscribe. And project file link in below, please give us your valuable feedback. We'll meet on the next tutorial, and be happy.